Um, again, like and subscribe to 5 a.m. Master Scrum if you like what we're talking about. I wanted to bring another one. I mentioned it yesterday about doing uh, family and non-IT stuff for Scrum, right? So I wrote down in my book to talk about when I when we had our second child came along. I think my wife was reading all these child books and family books or whatever. And um, one of the books talked about Agile and Scrum. I actually talked about Agile and Scrum at home. So my wife said to me, well, why don't we do some of that Scrum stuff or the retrospect or some of the stuff that you do in the house to help take care of things? Because it was our second kid. Things are, you know, one's getting older. What do we do? So, and I'm going to teach a facilitation class. And it's really funny. This, I found this little book while I was cleaning up. And this is our notes. So I got notes in there from the day's when we like had these meetings and we would plan for taking our kids. So basically what we did is we wrote a goal section and then what we wanted to talk about. And once a week we would do, you can call it a retro or a kind of like a weekly daily scrum. What's the plans for the week? It was a kind of our scrum planning session maybe. Um, so it was a retro slash sprint planning session. So it was kind of interesting. And I'll give you an idea how it went. So we had goals. It was a 30-minute meeting. It wasn't a two-hour meeting. It was only 30 minutes. So we had a couple goals. So first we set goals. What's the goals of these meetings? And one was better organization of time and resources. Sounds good. Share parenting lessons learned. So that's kind of like your retrospective and what goes on. And then we would do a, a short prayer at the start and the end just to get us into the, the good mood right so that we had those three goals right and then we had items to duck to discuss um when we would talk about our schedule for the weeks things we would like to do during the week so we would plan our week like sprint planning right talk about that one of the things, what worked in previous weeks? So we retrospect on what worked from parenting because we, you know, we had two parents and two different things going on, and we wanted to make sure we're, us as parents were saying the same thing to the kids, kids, and it wasn't dad do this, and we might want to go back to this because my kids are getting older now that they're kind of abusing one parent over another, so we might want to go back to this so we can plot against the kids, right? Um, what did not work the previous week? So we would talk about what worked and what did not work. Sound familiar, right? Um, sounds just like a retrospective to me. Parental issues, good and poor. So we talked about ourselves, how we, and this is open, you know, open pain, right? We talked about what we did not or did not like about each other's parenting, or we would agree on what was a bad parental take on stuff but then we would talk about budget and i do a whole business thing on budget but we talk about budget because it's really good for families to be in sync on the budget right major bills expenses set a date for budget review monthly so we would talk about that and we would do it. and then goals set a date for a one to six month goal and set a date for one year plus goals huh sounds like a real release planning session maybe hmm let me think about that one right so those are the six things, schedule for the week, things we like to do, what worked during the previous week, what didn't work during the pre previous week, parental issues, budgeting, and then goals so that we were in sync with each other and what we want to do. And we would communicate once a week. And um, I'll give you, I'll read you an example. Um, I even got six... One to six month goals. We have one to six month goals. I should review this and see how we did. I think that we have one to two year goals in here. It's fun reading this stuff sometimes. But we had six month goals. Ah, one year goals. We have a whole list of them. So we took a session and we wrote down our goals for a year from now. What we wanted to do. So it'll be interesting. I'll have to read this. Worked out what um, to work, parenting. Oh. Parenting, no bribes, eating better, 
Wiggles active. Isabel out early in the evening. Need to potty train. There you go. Talk about potty training. So these are the parental things. No bribing the kids for stuff like TV. We need to eat better, right? And then we need to potty train the kids. And then here's the bills. Like we had some uh, hospital, you know, hospital bills, car registration, car insurance. Um, still need to look at the budget. And, and then we ended a prayer, right? You want help when you're raising kids? I suggest it. No matter what religion you are. I am agnostic of which one I don't I don't have a problem with anybody's anybody's religion. Um here's a good one. I'm calm. The next week was like that was the eighteenth of August and this is like nine two twenty thirteen. We did the prayer thing again, did some scheduling. Um uh, Greg's to read next Sunday's mass. Okay, that's fine. Isabel, something, Liz working Saturday. Should we, we talk about her Saturdays? We had some bat, some classes we were given, um, events coming up. So we talked about the schedule over the next couple of weeks. What worked? Greg getting up early on Saturdays um, to study. <laughs> Make Eddie take, take something, I don't know, in eating. Um, feed Eddie, not drawing attention to the crib change because we're going to change him out of the crib. Um, more lights for Isabella at night. So those are some of the things that worked. What did not work here, got F, this is my wife, right? Keep working on healthy eating. So um, for Isabella, so I guess we had to help her eat better. Probably the parents, I got a gut, I got to fix that. Um, taking is it what didn't work? I don't know what that means. I can't read our handwriting. Per parent issues take Isabel out to play at dinner, being mindful of what we say in front of Isabel, <laughs> potty training in Dutch Wonderland. So, we, we had a bunch of things that we were working on that we wanted to do, right? Budget, um, doing a budget thing tonight. Goals, so our goal was to do a budget. Goals was me. I was studying for a test. I was studying to take the ITIL exam. Um, closet and office organized. Paint the bathroom. Goodwill run. Patio door. Um, and then we did a prayer. So anyway, so basically when we were raising kids together, it was great because we would communicate, get on the same track. And we just have like months of this stuff. It's great. I really want to read this stuff. This is really interesting because it brings, it's like having a diary on your kid. Anyway, um, what's nice about it is that a couple things we did as a, as a team, and we were a team, I guess we're way over, we're at 17 minute mark. Um, we would retrospect on what worked or what didn't work during the week, and we would plan what we wanted to do the, the week out because there's always time and issues that are coming up. It's always great to have the parents in sync. Just like sprint planning, right? We just talked about that, right? So we knew what everybody was doing on that meeting. And then we also looked at what didn't work or what worked in the past. And probably we should really go back to that, especially with two kids that are that are trying to manipulate mom and dad and what's working, what's not working. Um, so we're on the same page. But I would advise everybody to do something like that. Have a weekly um, session with the, the hu husband, the sp Spouses, the partners are together talking about how to raise or how to live together. It's important to communicate. It's important to be on the same page, just like at work, just like at home. Anyway, and, uh, please like and subscribe to our 5 a.m. Messer Scrum. Tell your friends. We are slowly but surely getting there. I'm working on a new logo, so that'll come out soon. And uh, take care. Have a great day.